by the very beginning of his salvation. The Lord gave me a great, uh, a great love for his word from the very beginning of my conversion. I began to spend hours a day in the Bible. I began to spend hours on the word of God. That the whole Bible in six weeks. I read the whole Bible in six weeks. And went on every line and I went on marking uh, uh, the, you know, the, the lines which says God said and also on the matter of baptism and what? Uh, and we were that tiny fragment and God said and God said God spake and God said then I noticed uh, that sign such light and that phrase happened 558 times in the word of God of Malachi. From the Genesis to That expression, God said or God spoke, spake, occurs 558 times in the first five books of the Bible. And 2000 times. In the end of Malachi. And the same, the only book in the whole world in that phrase, the things of Malachi. It is the only book which has that phrase. And so, I repeat it so many times. And I began to say, Lord, speak with me. I do want to hear thy voice. When I saw that, I said to the Lord, Lord, speak with me. I want to hear your voice. But it took me two years to understand fully God's voice. But it took two years for me to understand fully God's purpose and God's voice. Somehow, I did not understand clearly the meaning of the testimony in baptism in the beginning. Somewhere or other, in the beginning, I could not understand fully the meaning and the purpose of baptism. I read the Bible very sincerely. I read the Bible very sincerely. And I wanted to obey him fully. I wanted to obey him fully. But so that I was kept in darkness for the spiritual value and meaning of baptism. But somewhere or other, I was kept in spiritual darkness about the value and the importance of baptism. But one day in the month of February in 1932, at that required time, God spoke to me. God spoke to me. By reading the Gospel in Matthew and 3rd chapter. We began to read from uh, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 3. Now that I read that portion, verse 13, John the Baptist, the Lord Jesus Christ is coming John the Baptist to be baptized of him. When I read to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 3, I baptized of him. The Lord said to me, How are you in any way better than your Savior? Then the Lord said to me, Are you in any way better than you are Savior. I said, Lord, I never said that. I said to the Lord, Lord, I never said that. <laughs> then the Lord said to me, how oh, about the Lord? Then the Lord said to me, then what about the baptism? And like a sword, pierced my heart. Like a sword that words pierced into my heart. And without understanding, the next day or second day, I was baptized. But without understanding fully, the next day, I was I obeyed the Lord and I was baptized. That was in Vancouver, Canada. That was in Vancouver, Canada. And from that day, everything changed for me. From that day, everything has changed for me. I found a new hunger for the word of God than before. I found a new hunger for the word of God from that day onwards. And new liberty in prayer and new liberty in fellowship. New liberty in prayer and in fellowship. And that went on regularly. And that went on regularly. Similarly, my father also took me two, two years to know about baptism. And similarly, it also took my father, after his conversion, about two years to understand the meaning of baptism. I had the privilege to baptize my own father in the year 1946. I had the privilege of baptizing my own father in the year 1946. 1946. He read the Bible also for many hours a day. He also read the Bible many hours a 
effects of the day. But when I spoke to him about the baptism, he always said to me, it's not necessary. But when I told him about the deliverance baptism, he told me that it was not necessary. I said, take you are my father, I can't uh, argue with you. I told him, you are my father, I cannot argue with you. But I only pray, one day God himself will speak to you and take away your doubts. But I pray, I told him that I will pray that the Lord himself may speak to you and take away your doubts. And God heard my prayer. And the Lord heard my prayer. One morning my father was walking in roadside on the way to a high court in Lahore, Pakistan now. Uh, one morning he was on his way to the high court in Lahore. And he felt very tired. He came inside the military building, church building, to the empty building. While walking he became very tired and so he walked into a church building. And then he sat there to take rest. And he sat there to take rest. Saw a bright light shining before him with these words. With these words, behold, the Lamb of God who taken away the sin of the world. Behold, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sins of the world. God said, my, my, my father said, Lord Jesus, you have saved my son, save me also. Then his father said, Lord Jesus. You saved my son, please save me also. So my father came to me. Then my, then my father came to me. He said to me, now I know what, what it means by baptism. Uh, then he said to me, now I know the meaning of baptism. So I asked him, Mr. Pastor, are you sure you are born again? Then I asked him whether he was sure that he was born again. Both of us went to a neighboring field to have my time. Then both of us went into a neighboring field to have a quiet time. And I explained to my father in a simple language the meaning of new birth and baptism. Then in a simple language, I explained to my father the meaning of both salvation and baptism. And then it was in the field, my father tells how many tears, he confessed all his sins and accepted all his tribe and the Savior. And there, right on the field, and with tears streaming down his cheek, he knelt down and uh, confessed his sin and received the Lord Jesus Christ as his Savior and Lord. Tell him, very happy day for me. That was a very great happy day for me. And they saw the shining face of my father and the dear baptism coming out of the water. And then he was baptized and uh, when I saw him, when I saw him, he's happy, his face shining with joy and coming out of the water. But before